<laughs> Both hooks in its mouth. <sighs> Thank you. Oh God! Yeah, I see some bait fish jumping up out of the water. Ooh, there you go. First cast on. Oh, that's a. Oh my God, dude, that was a tank. Welcome back, you guys. My name is Abel from Valley Shenanigans. Hey, we're out here with my boy, Jordan. J. Will Bassin here. J. Will Bassin. Yes, sir. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the viewers, man. What's going on, man? Out here fishing, Fresno, California. You know what I'm doing, out here bass fishing. I'm trying to get my boy Abel on some fish. Lost a big one already on a popper, so hopefully it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> That's right, man. His first cast, bro, he landed a, I think it was a solid four pounder, yeah, four or five pounder, pounder on a popper. It was pulling this kayak, man. It was crazy. <laughs> Caught him right over there by those pipes out there, man. Let's see if we can get on some fish today, man. Oh my god, I missed that one. Oh, I missed that one, man. Oh, that was a good one, too. That was a mini. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, because I'm not, not comfortable throwing like a big Alabama rig. No, yeah, yeah, sometimes it's too much. Yeah. And they're both uh, at the tackle warehouse? Good luck on that white, huh? Yeah. I'll throw a white crankbait then. I know there's shad in here. Oh, okay, great. You know what that is, bro. That looked like a bass. Ooh. There it is. Victory. <laughs> Go first one. On the popper. Whoo. I should have tied it on sooner, man. I seen you catch like four of them, dude. I don't know why I didn't tie this on sooner. <laughs> Both hooks in its mouth. <sighs> Thank you. And it has been a while since I've been so grateful for a fish, man. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Oh, oh, so aggressive. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this, dude, you're gonna, oh my gosh. Calm down, little guy. Calm down. This fish is so aggressive, dude. Go ahead, jump for me, jump for me. Oh, man. <sighs> you guys, that's the first fish of the day, you guys. I've only had like two or three bites all day. 
My buddy's been laying the smack on him. He's, uh, he's probably got like six or seven of them. I, I lost count, to be honest. He's caught four of them on the popper. So I just had to tie on the popper, man. And a few casts later, man, and I catch the first one of the day. I just don't, don't know better, man. What do you think about it, bro? Popper. Magical. Dude, this, this fishery here, the popper is where it's at, for real. Popper. They're aggressive in here, super aggressive. Yeah, the, the little guy was pretty aggressive, man. I mean, he was little. Fish, everything. Pretty good, man. Thank you for reaching out, bro, and, okay. you know, inviting me over to your, your spots, bro. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty good fishery here. Ah, man. Yeah, great day. It's probably like 1140. We're actually working our way back to the, to the cars and landed my first one. Pretty cool, you guys. There he is. Dang it. A little ass one though, bro. I see him kind of jump for it, but he missed it. I need to need to relax. Get it too excited with the popper. All right, we just hooked one, but unfortunately he, he came off. That's the second one we lose on the oh god on the popper here. So far we've landed one, lost two on the popper. Got a few blow up, that was a carp. Oh my God. Oh, he was chasing. He came right up to it. Oh my God. Dude, he's a pretty good one. Dude, he's a good one. He came right up to it. Almost kissed it. Oh my gosh, that's a good one, bro. It's a pretty good one. That is wild. Dude, he, he came right up to it. Oh my, oh, there he is. Oh, oh, dude, there's two of them. Oh my god, broke your rod? What the f What the f is going on? You seen them though, right? Yeah, I literally seen them from how far I Dude, there's two of them. Alright, you guys, we're gonna call it a day already. It's a one o'clock. So today's report got one fish on that top water, on that popper. Lost like two of them on the popper, had a few bites. But my buddy over here, J. Will Baston, man, <laughs> he nailed it. First cast, he hooked onto a four or five pounder. Yeah, he jumped up, dove down super hard, bit my rod, came off. Dude. Good sign. Man. Good day. Got a top water action. Under spin, crankbait. Got it done. Popper, dude. A popper, man. Magical. Magical, dude. Magical bait. Alright you guys, anyways, go check out uh, J. Will Bassett. I'm going to link him in the description below. Sure. Show him some love, you guys. It was awesome uh, coming out here and collabing with them. Thank you, man. Thank you for inviting me out here to your to your local honey hole, man. It's pretty cool, man. Great spot right here. Great time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bit of a bummer when you're done fishing and you go to load all your gear up and you realize it broke into your car. We can't really control how people are going to act out, out here, man. Like how people are going to be, man. Not everybody has the same principles, the same morals as, as we like to think everyone does. However, we can control how we react to it. I'm glad that my car windows weren't broken, though. That would have been a bummer. Would have put a dent in my pocket. But it is what it is, you guys. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button. Please, please remember to smash that like button. Now more than ever. So, got home, unloaded my kayak and all my gear. Realized I forgot my paddle. So I came back to the spot where, where I kind of like threw it here because it was in the way while I was uh, loading up my kayak. Came back for it; it's gone. But what I did find was my buddy, my buddy's Jay Will's paddle up there. 
because he was also down here and he also tossed his up his his uh was a little further up the hill so people probably couldn't whatever traffic foot traffic was here probably couldn't see it so his is his is in the clear but mine i just tossed it right here right behind this bush right here and it was in plain sight so, so whoever just walked down here pick it up you know whatever it is what it is you know yeah so i lost my paddles man that sucks on top of my car getting broken into today you know kind of sucks kind of a come kind of a bummer ending to a great fishing day it is what it is you know like i said we can't we can't control what people are going to do or how they're going to act we can only control how we react that being said thanks for watching